So you don't often see me like this, but I am wrapped up, uh, rugged up, really warm. It's winter and it is wild out there. It doesn't look so wild, but I can tell you it is. I've just been a walk for a couple of kilometers. I'm at Elliston uh, on the far west coast of the Upper Peninsula. A great little town, a little town that my family uh, came very close to moving to when we were looking at buying the caravan park in the early 2000s wonder what life would have been like if that had happened. It didn't. Uh, but here I am today visiting Elliston to make a very special announcement. That announcement is that we are going to be partnering with the federal government and with the private landowners of Flinders Island. Flinders Island, way out there, 35 kilometers off the coast, an incredible natural environment, a home for many, many species of seabird uh, and a place with so much environmental potential. But unfortunately, uh, because uh, people didn't know any better historically, there are house mice there, there are rats there, and there are cats there taken there uh, when that island had a farming history. And it still does have a little bit of farming there, but that might end sometime in the future. Now we've been approached by the, the private landowners, the Wil Wilford family, who are very keen to turn this place into a safe haven. So through the support of the federal government, 1.67 million, and the state government a further one million dollars and plenty of support from the Wilford family we are going to be eradicating those pests and creating that safe haven over there it's going to be a great project and our hope is that then we can introduce a couple of native marsupials as well and it'll become a rewilding a safe haven for them this project is a great example of the two tiers of government working very closely with private landowners most land has and always will be uh, owned by private individuals, families and, and organizations and we do need to get alongside them to uh, make sure uh, that uh, we can work effectively to undertake these great conservation projects. So my thanks to the Wilford family and the federal government for partnering with us on this project. I look forward to getting out there, not today, I wouldn't want to be in the water today, but getting out there uh, in the coming months and taking you virtually with me so you can explore. Yeah.